Cool Turkey throwing down with Minecraft. Still playing Vex Super Hostel series. Same map, Sunburn Islands. And you know what? I love the Super Hostel series in Minecraft. I'm, I just think Minecraft is an awesome game, as you probably already know. But I really like the Super Hostel series because there's such challenges. So if you were watching while I was yakking, I have collected a good chunk of number of pieces of wool, the iron block, and I'm going to keep going through all the dungeons in this map. This is the Sunburn Islands. And you know what? Sunburn Islands is just a map I chose because I've already played through it and beaten it, which of course gives me an unfair advantage. Jeez Louise, that was a creeper. Oh, great. So I just got into a new dungeon and he put water everywhere. Ugh, it's annoying. But it happens in this map, so you better get used to it. Let's try to stop the flooding, see if we can get a few things. Okay, Whew, feel a little better now. Well, like I say, I like the challenge. Yeah, I don't really like main playing Minecraft just to build stuff. Now, some people do. That's, oh, oh another creeper. Oh, jeez. Oh, There's just sand everywhere. I don't even remember where I was going. Where was I going? Was I over here? Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Still a little under the weather. But, man, I'm going to have to be digging. Oh, boy, I'm going to be digging for a real long time. Oh, well, look on the bright side. That gives me a little bit of a chance to talk about it. So anyway, like I said, I like the challenge. Now, some people love just building stuff. Hey, that's cool. I got no hate against that. Personally, I find it boring, and I just let water everywhere. So I must be digging, like, underneath the terra firma, because the island was in this thing that went down. And, yeah, okay. So that explains it. So I probably need to keep going sideways. But yeah, you know, some people, they like building stuff. Hey, more power to you. Yeah, everybody likes something a little different, so that's all good. But at the end of the day, the Super Hostel series kind of stuff I like. Now, I have had several people saying, hey, Cold Turkey, have you thought about playing this one adventure mod or this one adventure mod? Basically, people have been suggesting things for me to try out. And you know what? I will definitely look at trying them out once I'm done with this Super Hostel map. And we'll see where we go from there. Of course, by then, I might be doing commentary on a different game. That's one thing you have to understand about my YouTube channel. It's not just about one game. See, I made that mistake back in the day. I'm not making that mistake again. It's not just about one game. Sure, I'll be able to burn through the Sunburn Islands. <laughs> Get it? Burn through Sunburn. Okay, bad joke. But, you know, I'll be able to burn through it in probably about three really long commentaries. I'm going to be shooting for over 40 minutes again because I love you guys that much. Anyway, if you look real carefully, you see I finally dug my way through to where I needed to go. There's this big, long pit descending down. Now, the trick to this dungeon, if my memory serves me correctly, is blocking the entrances that the mobs come in without falling into the pit. You see how easy it is to fall into that pit down there? And if you look, as I peek over, you can see that there's a mob spawner. It's surrounded by mobs from those three doorways coming in, and then there's spider web in there, too. So what happens is, is if you get stuck in there, it's a guaranteed death sentence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine around and stay up here a little bit. And then I'm going to be dropping sand. So you notice sand just drops and blocks the entrance that was over there. So that's one path that the mobs can no longer take to get into this middle room. And you know what? This is going to be slow. It's going to take some time. And that's okay. Sometimes when you're playing these super hostile maps, you don't want to go too fast. You just want to take your time. Some people, they, they just try to do things too quickly, and you'll end up dying. And so far, you know, I'm at 13 experience still. I've been having a really good run. Statistically speaking, it's only a matter of time before I die, but I'm going to keep trying to do my best to make sure it doesn't happen. So I dug over to the side a little bit. I dropped more sand. And that's going to cover all these entrances up so that the mobs can no longer get in. And I'm making sure to watch my back while all this is going on. Because let me tell you, it is easy to die in this dungeon. I remember dying in it many times when I first played through it about a month or two ago. So there we go. So if we look, all four of those are blocked off. Now the next trick is what I'm hoping to do is to kill these mobs off and then destroy the spawner. And I especially don't want any... What am I doing? I'm hitting sand, I think. Oh, no, I got him. I especially don't want any creepers to blow up. Because if a creeper blows up, he's going to blow up all the stuff that I just blocked off. And then after he's done destroying all the stuff that I blocked off, he's going to open up and everybody's going to pour in and uh, it's just going to be a disaster. So I'm going to sit up here... And I'm going to shoot these guys with the bow all day long. Don't bother me an ounce. There's a creeper. Wait, is that another door? Oh, snap. Yeah, it is. Wow, okay, I got lucky right there. Jeez, by all rights, I should have been dead. because I didn't think that was a door. So let me throw some sand down in there. Should be good to go on that. Dig around here, get down here. Should be able to hit him with my sword from here on out. And you can see the spider web in that pit. It's a really deceptively clever trap, in my opinion. 
and they shoot this guy down and you know once these two mobs are down be able to get the spawner and I should be pretty much good to go I don't remember which way to go exactly but you know I'll sure I'll figure it out of course my pickaxe breaks of course look at all that experience nom 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 okay not only that my food's down so I need to eat I need to have a little snack and then let's see I got oh yeah I get my magic bow okay so which way do we go uh, let me think uh, hmm. Maybe over here. Well, uh, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'm having trouble remembering now. I can't think which way to go. Oh boy. Well, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes you just gotta man up. So I'm eating my bread. My health regen's going, and let's do this. Oh crap. Let's get. See, that's exactly the problem. Creeper showed up. And now, all my door blocks have been blown up. So I'm going to try to escape by throwing blocks up and getting out. Okay, no, another creeper blow up. Okay, don't panic. Just breathe. Get up here. Okay, block yourself off. Okay. Okay. Everybody just relax for a second. I got this. Okay. So the creeper went off. That sucks. But we can still do this. We still got most things blocked off from what I understand. Now, we're going to go through the long, arduous process of killing all this stuff. See, because going charging in that room, that is almost guaranteed suicide. And don't get me wrong, sometimes I like doing that just because I like having a little fun. But at the end of the day, if I want to beat this map, careful, thought out, man, you got to be safe. You, and then, of course, having knowledge ahead of time of what dangers you're going to face where obviously comes in handy. But you know what? That's the, that's the cool thing about these maps, man. You're playing it for the challenge playing it for the challenge. That's not to say I don't like survival mode. I do kind of actually like survival mode, to be fair. I kind of like the resource collection, but when I play survival mode instead of a challenge map, for me it's more of a casual thing. And what I mean by that is, Minecraft, even though I've been playing it for two and a half years, is the kind of game that, honestly, I haven't been playing it all day, every day, you know, six hours a day for those two and a half years. No, it's, it's a little bit more casual than that. I'd want to say that I've been playing Minecraft for on average anywhere from like two to ten hours a week depending on how into I into it I am that particular week that's the great thing about Minecraft is you know I can just play eh, you know like three or four hours a week and when when I get more into it like a new patch comes out and I'm like oh cool or this new mod comes out or that releases a new challenge map I'll be like yeah then I'll be paying it like 20 hours a week which honestly is about the most time I can spare for a video ah, stupid creeper okay well no things are looking oh, okay hey you know what I think that actually worked out pretty good because you notice that creeper exploded to one side of the inner dungeon and if I'm not mistaken this is the side I want to go in I probably shouldn't have wasted a piece of bread on that low of a food counter probably would want to go with a cookie when it's just like half a piece of food missing okay so let's get in here the, the mobs are having trouble finding me or having trouble jumping up the cliff so once again this is a good chance to exploit things and kill these mobs from a distance you know there's no need to be Rambo in here just play it calm play it cool get the job done this is one of the more difficult dungeons and that's another interesting thing about these maps is just because you follow the dungeons in order dungeon one dungeon two da 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 all the way to number 16 i think doesn't mean it actually from a difficulty curve follows that at all although in fairness the first dungeon tends to be the easiest and the last dungeon tends to be the hardest but outside of that i mean anything goes with these maps Sometimes the middle dungeons are just a gigantic pain, and maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm just not thinking straight. The stupid spider. Get out of here. I hate spiders because they can climb. Okay, I've killed a lot of stuff. What is hitting me? It's really driving me crazy. I'm oh, there he is. That's what's getting me. All right, I'll take no spider. Ah, get out of my face. Stupid spider. Dumb zombie. Okay, where'd he go? No, he's not there. No, maybe it's time to hop down then, I'm thinking. No, let me get these guys first real quick. Stupid spy. I hate that thing. Ah, there's another one. It's never ending. There's so many mods to kill. Oh, time to man up. It looks like the spiders are actually coming from spawners from underneath the... Oh, hey, that's actually real clever. Okay, I see what he's doing. So he's put the spawner, spawners underneath there. So I'm going to eat food real fast, then I'm going to block these off. Try not to die in the process. Okay, my sword broke. That's bad. Let me re-equip my sword. And then I'm going to start blocking all these things off. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, oh, there's another mob. Let's kill this guy. Whew. Block that off. Jeez Louise. Man, there's just no relent down here. Come on. Okay. Come on, turkey. You got this. <gasps> is that glass? Okay, glass is a good sign. Because glass means 
We're almost there. Oh, see, there's another freaking spider spawner. All right, block that off. Light this place up a little bit. Oop, block this off. We got mobs coming in from here, too. <sighs> okay, so we've got all the spawners blocked off, which is key. You know, if you're going to be doing these maps, you need to be blocking off spawners. Otherwise, you're going to be in a lot more trouble than you need to be. I'm going to break this bottom block, and then I'm going to sort of glitch out these skeletons here. Playing dirty. There's no need to play fair. Oh, come on. Can I get him? Maybe the bow will get him. Yeah. Playing dirty. Cold turkey dirty. Dirty turkey. Dirty bird. Yeah, I think that's... Actually, you know, I had a friend in high school whose nickname was Dirty Bird. <laughs> Josh Cold Dirty Bird. Okay, anyway. So, yeah. Throwing down with that. And what was I talking about before? Oh, right, 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 right. Stupid skeletons. You know, don't don't play fair, man. Cheat. Do what you gotta do. You know, if you gotta break blocks, if you gotta block off mob spawners, hey, man, that's legal. You read the instructions. It's all good. So we know that glass is a good sign. I'm gonna block all this stuff and be a little paranoid here. Never know what's behind these things. Oh, hey, I think that's it right there. Is that the wool? Oh. Ah, oh, finally. Jeez Louise. Man, this, this dungeon is just a pain. Okay, throw the torch down, get the yellow wool. Now we're gonna get on out of here. Finally. Man, that, like I said, just because it's not the last dungeon doesn't mean it isn't one of the hardest dungeons. It's kind of in the middle, but man, is it tough. If that will do that to you, this Super Hostile series can get pretty rough. Eat a cookie to get my health bar back up, and I'm ready to get out of here. One of the things I was talking about earlier before I was kind of cut off by something happening with the mobs is, you know, playtime with Minecraft. That's one of the reasons I love Minecraft so much is I can play it two to four hours a week when I'm busy playing other games. A good example of that is recently, I don't know, two months ago, three months, I don't know. I got Batman Arkham City when uh, a few days after it came out. Wasn't that? Well, maybe it was a month or two after it came Look, I played Batman Arkham City, and it was awesome. That's what I'm trying to say. But while I was doing that, I was still playing some amount of Minecraft, just not as much as I normally would. That's what I like about Minecraft. Play it for a couple hours a week when I'm playing another game, and then, boom, like, you know, I beat Arkham City or whatever, and it's like, okay, well, that was fun for a week or two. Now what do I do? Well, the answer is obvious, baby. You always can go back to the craft. Minecraft is always calling, ready for you to jump back in and have some good time. So we've escaped the island. Now we're going to swim back to the shore, which I'll be the first to admit is incredibly long and boring. So you know what? We're going to fast forward through that, unless you want to sit me watching there swim for, well, yeah, boring. So we'll get back to the home base. We got the yellow wool. Nice. Dun 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 Oh yeah. Looking good. Alright, man. We're really cruising along. As I was saying earlier, hopefully I'm gonna be able to do this whole series. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, lots of space, a brown and a gray. Interesting stuff. Now I'm gonna go back to our spawn point. Remember this is where we started the entire game when we got thrown onto the islands. There is this chest with boats and a boat. And then there was a little tiny island way to the south of where we started. So I'm going to go to this island because, once again, I've played through and beaten this map in the past. I know that there's a dungeon over here, and this is a really easy dungeon. <coughs> Excuse me. What you think wouldn't be the case, obviously, since the last one was so hard. Speed through all that garbage. Doing a few speed throughs here because it, it just gets so boring watching me swim in a straight line or s even sail on a boat in a straight line. Dungeon 12. You're on a boat! Which is ironic because I actually won't be using a boat for the majority of the dungeon. I, you know what? I'll try a boat. Why not? Last time I beat this dungeon, I recall not using a boat because it was easier. But hey, I'm fair game. I'll give it a shot. So where are we at? There's tre Oh, look at all those boats. Oh, look at all those snowballs and sword and... Oh, yeah. Okay, the arrows, the torches. Oh, no, wait. Those aren't arrows. Those are... What am I thinking? Those are bows. Man. Stupid. Come on, cold turkey. Jeez. Okay, throw a few boats in here. Uh, let's see. Launch a boat. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this thing. What? Uh, why am I not moving? What's going on here? Come on. Come on. Oh, no. I glitched it in the terrain. Ah. Okay, let's glitch it out. Come on, glitch it out. Fine. You know what? I'll dig around it. I'll dig around it. No, no. Don't destroy it. I'll dig around it. I'll be able to go into the freaking boat. Come on. Come Okay. Good to go. Okay, we're ready. Let's do this. On a boat. Okay, we're sailing. Okay, we're not sailing. Ow, ow, taking a lot of damage. Kill the boat. Get off the boat. Don't die. No. Ah, no. Ah. Woo. Okay, that glitch just cost me pretty much all my health. Awesome. Thanks, Minecraft. 
Jeez. Fix your freaking boats. <laughs> now I'm pissed. Okay, let's try not to put the boat in the corner this time. Let's try to put the boat kind of in the middle. In fairness, that was my own mistake. All right, so we're on a boat. Oh, yeah. Let's start doing this thing. Okay, we are... Man, it is dark in here. Jeez, somebody turn on a light. So, basically, this dungeon is pretty weird. You're on a boat, sailing through these waterways, and then you have these blocks where, obviously, there's mob spawners. And, yeah, I don't know. I just remember when I first played through it that it was a lot easier when you're not on a boat because the boat can be more difficult to stare. Whereas when you're in the water manually, you can still outmaneuver the mobs, outrun the mods, and, well, yeah, you can just, you know what? I'm off the boat, and I'm not getting back on a boat. Screw it. I'm just swimming to the goal. Wow, I just took a ton of damage. Holy cow. That's not good. Okay. Well, you know what? It happens. I'm going to keep swimming. I'm going to keep bobbing in and out of the water. Hopefully, that'll throw off the aim of the archers. And then double hopefully I won't run into any angry creepers who have heat-seeking missile doom balls of death, as in themselves. Man, I hate creepers. I remember when I first started playing Minecraft, you know, back even back in the alpha, I just remember the first time I ran into a creeper. It just freaked me out. I'm like, what's that thing? Why is it hissing? Son of a bitch, he just blew me up. And it just, ah, oh, it just pissed me off so much. And, of course, you know, the first time I got diamonds, I fell into... Everybody has a story like that, but what's funny is a lot of people have that story because it's kind of true. You get so excited about your first diamond or, you know, you build your first house and then you start making mistakes because you're so excited and then before you know it, you're dead. Speaking of mistakes, I am really close to the wool. There it is in the glass. Hopefully I won't make said mistakes. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Got some creepers in there, got some spiders. Hopefully I'll be able to kill these guys or injure them a little bit and then wall this thing off before it gets too bad. What am I doing? Get out of the menu, you dummy. Okay. You know what? These guys want to tango? Fine. Fine. Now it's angry turkey time. That sounds like a meal that you would prepare. Angry turkey. Okay. So let's keep these zombies at bay. These spawners are going to get out of control. Why am I putting torches there? I need to put blocks there, not torches. All right, let's see, defend, no, he didn't blow up. Okay, try to get this next wave going, and I'll be good to go. Come on, do it, blow up. You know what, I'm just going to shoot you in the face. How do you like them apples? Finally, I can, okay. Whoa, did you see that? That's kind of trippy. Oh, that's because there's like a stairwell, like a half, okay, whatever. Anyway, so this is where we need to go. We need to get that wool. Do, 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 Got the blue wool, baby. And then from here, it's the same old, same old. We're going to dig our way out, and it's sayonara, suckers. <laughs> ah, another dungeon conquered. Probably come out of the... I'll probably, you know what, I'll probably show up in water, have to swim. And you guys have seen me do that multiple times, because once again, I've played through the map. I know that there's no conveniently placed lava pools above the map. Although, if Vec wanted to be a real big jerk, he should do that. He shouldn't, like, just make maps out of unminable stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, making a whole map out of obsidian... Or, uh, what's that block called? That, well, like the base block that you can't break that sort of is at the bottom layer of the earth. Like, you could make a dungeon out of that. And I think in some aspects he has on a few maps. But I think what's an even cooler idea is to make it so it looks like it's safe, right? And you look like you can dig your way out. But, oh, no, there's a conveniently placed two-layer thick lava pack. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I hope... The Vec or Vetch or however you pronounce his name. Like I said in my last video, it's V-E-C-H. You know what? And M-E-C-H is Mech. So I want to say Vec. But I'm probably butchering it. You know, I hope he watches these videos and he thumbs up them and leaves a comment. I think it'd be great. Because like I said, I'm a huge admirer of his stuff. So we're going to fast forward through me boating through a bunch of stupid stuff. And I'm going to completely fly against all common sense, ignore my own advice, and go to the next dungeon even though I have wool on me. Now you might be saying, Cold Turkey, you got away with this once last video, but you're about to pay the price. Karma's on the way. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe I am about to pay the price, but I'm going to take the chance because if I remember correctly, this map, or this map, this dungeon is pathetically easy. This little oil rig dungeon, it's not even really a dungeon. It's like a platform. You flip a switch, Boom. There you go. Climb the ladder, and then you sort of jump in the pool and find the chest, and that's it. 
I don't know, it just isn't really that hard. It's kind of one of the weaker dungeons, actually. Although, I will admit, the design is cool, kind of the oil rig thing. So, yeah, I guess I could see where he was going, try to mix it up a little bit. I mean, not every single piece of wool has to be in some underground labyrinth of doom. But in fairness, if it's a challenge map, you'd want something like that hopefully happening. So basically, we got to replace all this lava with blocks. The chest should be somewhere in there. I can't remember where it is. Although, with my luck, it's probably in the middle, which will be... Oh, no, 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 no catching on fire now. And it should be there. Boom. Light gray wool. do 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 all right, there it is. See, now I can see it better. All right, give me some of these back. I might need these later. I'm hogging all this. Of course, I don't want to waste everybody's time by digging them all back. Say, so, you know what, I'll just take a few and I'll be on my way. Let's build a little stairwell out of here. All right, so we're out of this place. Let's get this. You know, don't want to take, you know... I'm kind of playing chicken. I, I just like building stairs, I guess. Ooh, look at the stairs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, cool. We got all that. Let's throw a few torches here to light the place up and then head on out. It's all yours, brother. Woo! Pish! Yeah! Okay, so we're out of there. Let's get back on our boat. Now, you might be saying, okay, cold turkey, now it's time to return to base. No, no. No, no. I'm going to go against my advice again. And this is, the, this is like doubly, triply bad. And I'm going to go to a third dungeon. And I'm still not going to return the wool I have. Now, at this point, you're probably saying, he's lost his mind. He's insane. Turkey, what are you doing? You've told us before that when you're playing Vex Super Hostile Series, you need to be cautious and you need to play it cool. You know what? You're right. And I was right. Thank you very much. But I know a little trick to the next dungeon. <laughs> so the next dungeon that's straight north basically of that little i don't know what it was like a lava oil drill whatever so the dungeons are straight north of that is three pirate ships the pirate ship in the middle is noticeably bigger than the other pirate ships i remember way back in the day when i first played this map i thought to myself huh i bet it's on the first pirate ship and then since i came in from the exact same angle i'm coming in the first time i dug through the pirate ship from the front well, guess what? The wool is, in fact, on the middle pirate ship, and it's right in the front of the ship. So when you dig in from the front on the middle ship, which you would assume has the wool anyway, since it's the biggest, you pretty much you instantly get the wool and then you walk away. So this is one of the easier dungeons as well, if you know that little trick, simply because you can access the wool almost immediately upon arrival. So we're going to place a few stones down here, which will hopefully give us enough room. Why am I using a pickaxe? Oh, no, using the right axe. Okay. Yeah, for a second there, I thought I was using the pickaxe. Okay, creeper. Get away. Go. Shoot. Okay. We'll bury our way. Oh, another creeper. You dirty rat. I like this enchanted bow. I, I think it's pretty cool that they say that mobs can now drop. I think it's skeletons have a chance of dropping enchanted bows. I know some people don't like it. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. I mean, hey, you just get some, like, iron from zombies. Okay, anyway. So we're going to dig through this, we'll dig through the next one, and then notice the mobs can't get me. I get right next to the mob spawner that's next to the chest, next to another mob spawner, break those down, chop this through, and then boom, there's my chest, and I couldn't get hurt by anything. Do 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 But I'm going to be stupid. Yeah, I think it's time to be stupid. Is that a Weird Al song? Did it be stupid? What did... Okay. So we are going to dig through this and get some of these experience orbs. So I'm killing these guys. And then I'm going to kill a few more guys. I'm going to get all the experience orbs. And then I'm going to leave. Not going to stick around. Not going to be the hero. It's like Zombie Land. Uh, oh, yeah, get that out. It's a zombie Land. Don't be the hero. Although we did change it at the end. I was a little bit disappointed in that. But, I, you know, so, okay. Got what I want. Block it off. Don't be stupid. Let's just get out of here. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Now get that spider off. What does he got? He's got nothing. Then we're going to get a boat, and then we are going to leave. So we got three dungeons down in a relatively quick amount of time, and so we got our three pieces of wool. Wait a sec. What does that say? Uh, go. Ah, no, I couldn't read it fast enough. Oh, well, whatever. So now I'm going to sail back on towards the base. Ah, yes, peaceful night sailing. Let's throw a few things away. I don't need those. Let's see. Well, when the... I don't really need those. What what else do I got that I don't need? Not that it matters much. It's not like my inventory is overflowing. Okay, anyway, back to the sailing. To the home base. And once again, I could sit here and show you the whole trip. But come on, that's so boring. So, boom, we're back at the home base. And, man, I've got three pieces of wool just burning a hole in my pocket. Oh, I can't wait. 
This is going to be so exciting. Oh, boy. You know, and I did think so out of order, too. Let's see. This one goes blue. I'm looking blue. Where's the blue? Gray, light gray. Is that a zombie? Okay, anyway. <clears throat> blue, there we go. Purple, there's purple. Light gray, light gray. No, things over here. Uh, what am I, the, yeah, light gray. Okay, I was like, ah, man, kind of trippy. Okay, so we got all our wool back, and we are ready to rock and roll. Cut it forward, and it's a bright, new, sunny, beautiful day, and we are sailing. So the next set of dungeons are kind of in a corner, just north of the pirate ship, a bit east of that giant uh, mushroom in the middle of the sea that we went to, and it wasn't obviously a mushroom. It was made out of iron or uh, stone or something like that. Anyway, to make a long story short... I sail, and I sail, and I sail, and then I get to this area. So the first thing you notice is on the left is there is a gigantic tree made of obsidian and hell mud and hell rock, and it's on fire, but there's gold. Remember, we need a gold block, so we might want to go back there and get some gold pretty soon. And then if you keep looking down in the water on the right, or straight ahead by now, actually, is an underground ice palace. So we've got an ice palace and hell. Basically, hell is right next to an ice palace. Now, obviously, call it the nether. But if you go into that big tree, there's a nether portal. And it's actually inside that nether portal where you're going to find the black wool. And that is supposed to be the last dungeon of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I'm not going to do hell last. I'm going to do it pretty soon. But before I go to the nether, before I go to hell, <laughs> get it? <laughs> yeah, I need to stop making bad jokes. But before I do all that, I'm going to go to this ice level. Uh, this ice level is pretty tricky, if I recall. One of the things is right when you go in, and you got to go down this ladder, first of all, it's made of ice, so there's certain things you can't put on the ice, and if you break a hole, you'll find, oh, look, there's water. So let's plug that up, and... Ooh, ah, no, okay. I almost died there. So if you look through the, the ice, you can see there's traps, and behind the traps are pressure plates. And so what's happening is the mob spawner spawn the mobs, hit the pressure plates... And then, of course, I don't... Why did I do that? What am I doing? So I think the best thing is is to run to the wall and build myself up here. Okay, that... Ugh. Get away. This ice is almost impossible to move on. Holy cow. Okay, I'm fairly protected with just these two blocks. And since I have the wall to my back, I shouldn't be slipping around too much. Okay. So we got that taken care of. Now let's do an ultimate block off here. Let's block that off. Block that off. Block that off. Okay, okay, I feel a little better now. A slider up. Now let's uh, dig. Why am I using a pickaxe? Just use a shovel. So anyway, I want to dig through this and get towards the heart of this ice palace a little bit here. Wait, no, this is is this snow? I, yeah, I was about to say. Hold on, I'm using a, a pickaxe because this is stupid ice. Okay, so we dig in through towards the middle of the map, and boom. There are creepers and skeletons and all sorts of that. This is where this level gets tricky. Remember that level where I was underneath the sand and I had to sort of block everything off and be real super careful? This level is kind of almost that bad. I mean, it's pretty bad, but maybe not that bad, but it's bad. And so, caution, once again, is the name of the game. And I'm about to run out of arrows. Holy cow. Jeez, this is going to take forever. So and that's another big danger in the Super Hostile series, like I was talking about earlier, is you have to be careful because you don't want to... You don't want to run out of resources mid-dungeon, because that always sucks. But if you take too many resources and you end up dying, you'll cripple the set yourself to the point where you actually can't beat the map. So it's this really hard middle ground to find. You know, sometimes you'll make mistakes. Look at all those experience orbs. Holy cow. I have been killing a lot of stuff. Okay, let's get all these. wonder if I'll level to 22. Oh, 22, 22 and a half. Jeez, that was one whole level. I went from level 21 to 22, almost right across the board. Alright, let's see what's going on. Got zombies. Okay, so we see there's some hallways that these mobs are coming in. So let's block these off real quick. And block that off. Block that off. Okay, so now I can't get assaulted anymore. Take care of this skeleton. That wasn't too bad. Let's see. Now I want to go... Not... Not there? No, I think... Hmm. You know, okay, yeah. You can see the stairwell up there, just in the distance. So I want to go this way. This is the next step. Once again, mobs are going to harass me, probably because they're spawning from a billion different places, coming in from doorways and everything else. Let's get in here, light the situation up a little. Okay, yeah, so they're coming from down the stairwell, they're coming from that hallway, and they're probably another hallway behind me. Yep, there's another... Oh, jeez. Okay, let's kill these guys. You know, actually, my sword's about to break, too. 
And that, that that is me not practicing what I preach right there. Remember I was talking about resource management before you come into these places? I just screwed it up. Because my sword's about to break. <laughs> I, gotta eat. I gotta use my bow. I gotta throw some dynamite down. My food meter's low. I'm about to die. Get out. Get out. No. No, 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 no. Whew. Wow, I barely lived through that. Wow. Okay. That was bad. Okay. Was my sword about to break? I mean, I got a few arrows. Let's see how much I can do with that. I mean, maybe I can do some arrows. Maybe throw some dynamite down when I get into the upper floor and just sort of like blow my way up into the glass and the wool. I see. I don't know. You know, it's always a tricky thing to try to do. Okay, reach in some health while I'm here to be sure. Let's go back into this thing. Let's do this thing. Probably should have reached in some more health. That might have been a mistake. Let's block that off. Okay, yeah. Make that zombies. Whew. Okay, and there went my sword. Great. Alright, well, I'm going to have to rely on the bow. Nothing else. I got nothing. Alright, well. okay, that was a creeper blowing up. That's okay, I'm pretty much dead. Nope. Whew, man, I got lucky right there. You know what? That creeper blowing up actually just saved my life because he blew up such a big hole in the snow that the mobs actually can't get to me. Wow, I got lucky. All right, let's keep trekking on. Let's see what we can do. We got some mob spawners here. And they'll keep falling through that. Man, that is so lucky. Okay, that was unlucky. Right there, that sucked. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, let's get these guys. Peg them a few shots. Eat short-range bow attacks, punk that guy okay let's block this off a little bit if I do a wall real quick okay kill this before it respawns all right so I have a little little mini wall up there that should help out a bit and then up here is probably immediate doom yeah that's a creeper okay let's leave yeah no, no. Whew. okay he blew up let's see what we got going on over here wall this off a little bit more yeah see that definitely looks I just don't think my bow is gonna make it guys I mean, it's so much, that's so much ammo to take, you know? I just don't think I can do it. I think I'm going to head on out. As unfortunate as it may sound, I'm going to have to come back to this dungeon re-equipped in the near future. And as I was saying earlier, resource management, it's crucial, it's key. And there's a good example of what, wow, why don't I just, it's like I'm drunk trying to climb this ladder. But anyway, that's a great example of what not to do. You always want to come into these dungeons with at least two swords. And apparently I only had one. I thought I had two, but I wasn't managing my resources properly. That's what I get. You know what? I For some reason, I just feel like throwing some stone down there. Oh, man. Excuse me. But I still got I still got a pickaxe. Let's clear this out. Make a little port for myself when I come back. There we go. Uh, looking good. Looking good. All right. Let's get on a boat and let's head on out. Man. That's just dumb. But hey, you know what? Live and learn. At least I didn't die. If I would have stuck around with basically no ammo, no sword, ever depleting resources, I probably would have died, and that would have been all she wrote. So we're going to head on back, and you know what? Once again, to cut a long story short, I go back, I get my sword, and then I sail back. So I did a little transition there, so don't panic. I got to the base, and I got the goods. And since I've already completed a vast portion of the dungeon, I was pretty much on the last level, if my memory serves me correctly. And to be frank, it doesn't look that tall. If you look at it from, kind of from above, you can see it's not really that big of a dungeon anyway. So we're going to go back. We've got the proper equipment. We're ready to roll. Our pickaxe is fresh. Our sword is fresh. And we got 64 torches. You know, our bow is still doing pretty good. Let's see if I can drop a little. Whoa, nope. Oh, well, who cares? Okay, so let's get back into the game. Make a little stairwell here. Jump on up. Break it so it can't get followed light this place up. Oh, it looks like we got some spiders. Climbing walls causing trouble. Put it into that little problem right now. There we go. You know what? While I'm at it, let's just uh, let's just wall this whole thing off. There we go. Now, oh, no, zombie came from the top. Alright, punk. You want to play hardball? Let's do this thing. So there's probably creepers up here. So let's try to dig our way through a little bit. See if we can give kind of an avenue of shooting now that I got... Yeah, see, there he is. Come on, get that bow out. Let's get him. Oh, yeah, I got him. No, come back. Got him. Okay, come. Oh, ow, no, the snow's in the way. Come here, you little dirty rat. Oh, is that a spawn? Okay, there's a mob spawner right there. Try to remember that when I get up there. Hmm. Huh, you know, I'm not having too much success. Oh, no, there we go. Had a little success. All right, eat arrows, punk. All right, let's do this thing. And, of course, there's a creeper right there. Hey, I knocked him off. We're on a cliff. That I didn't. Ow. Oh, no. 
No, I'm surrounded by creepers. Help. <laughs> Half health. Food depleted. Quick. Dig a hole. Do something. Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay, that was another. Oh no, that was another creeper. Oh jeez. Whew. Okay, dig another hole. Dig a something. Dig a column. Wall it off. Wall off. Wall off. Okay, I'm all, okay. Whew. Okay, I'm walled off. Just breathe. It's okay. I didn't die. It's all right. All right, I'm gonna make a little, make a little uh, stairwell here. You know, just just kind of inch my way over, inch my way over. Get this stupid mom spawner out of my face. Okay, what do we got? Well, my health's starting to regen, so that's good. I should be able to dig my way around all these holes that the creepers blew in. And then from there, I should be able to get these mob spawners. And hopefully the wool's right around the corner. <laughs> Look at all those creepers. Ay, ay, ay. They're pissed. I mean, they're really pissed. I think I gotta get rid of all these snowballs. That's, that's one thing I didn't like about this dungeon also. Is you get a lot of snow packs in your inventory. It's so annoying. Okay, got rid of that. Let's kill these guys real quick. Come on, you dirty, rotten scoundrels. Yeah. See, I already talked about the first time I got hit by a creeper. I'm trying to think of some other Minecrafts first. I remember when they came out with the Nether. I explored the Nether for the first time. How cool and exciting it was. And they've actually done some pretty cool things with that with Nether Fortresses. And then you got the End Zone with the Dragon nowadays. Didn't have dragons back when I was playing Minecraft. Let me tell you what, Sonny. That's a new invent. Oh, uh, okay, that creeper blew up my bridge. That's not good. Or maybe it is good. That means they can't get to me. Huh. <laughs> Okay, let's do this thing. Let's see. We gotta dig through this. Can't really see where I'm. Oh, now I can see a little better. So let's keep digging. Oh, hey, look, it's the exact same wall. Huh? I should have just made like a ladder and climbed up to the top. Wow. I'll remember that if I ever play through this map again. Make a ladder and climb to the top. Okay, we destroyed that. Let's uh sort of block ourselves off here so that okay, creepers can't climb walls like spiders. So if we destroy enough blocks from a vertical standpoint, we should be good to go. Let's see, what do we got? Columns? No, no, that's not where the wool. Where are we going here? Let's see what the, oh, there it is. Dun 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 Look at that, gray wool. Let's get switch out some of the snow here. Let's switch out a few things of snow and then switch it out for the wool. Take a few pieces of wool. That's another interesting thing about these dungeons is he puts one piece of wool in every slot so that if you die before you return the wool, then you can still have wool in the chest that way you can come back and get wool so you know he's trying to help you out a little but you know not really I mean obviously these maps are designed for challenge so he's still not really helping out too much but a little bit here and there and there we go we're right back to where we started I think if we just mull ourselves off here so we don't get creeperfied uh, look around for a second what do we got what do we get you know I should be able to just make that jump I think let me see here yep. just do it Nike. Boom. Alright, two and a half hearts of health. And I'm good to go. Get on the ladder and I'm out of here. Boo yeah. Whew. Man, talking for 40 something minutes straight. Jeez. I'm going to do this on the third and final video uh, series of this particular hardcore map. But man, let me tell you. It's a big challenge for me. But at the end of the day, I think it's a good challenge to accept. So, uh, make a long story short, we get back over here. And remember I was talking about this tree contains the last dungeon in the game. And it's the hardest dungeon. I mean, it is, ugh, I, it, it's so bad. But we're not necessarily going to go for that right now. Although I do have the wool in my pocket. And honestly, there's a very real chance I could die here. So I'm being dangerous in my axe pick. Nice. But remember that there's gold up here. So what I want to do is I want to mine about nine of these. What's that? Oh, jeez. There we go. So I want about to mine about nine of these. And of course, there's mobs spawning all over the place while I'm trying to do that. Ow, ow, spider, ow. Creeper. Oh, jeez. Right. Oh, okay. Luckily, he was on fire. Once we get these nine gold, we can make a, a gold block. And then on top of that, we got all this wool. And you'll see the difference when we get back to the base. Things are definitely going to look pretty smooth. Let's just dig a hole right in here. Because I want to kind of make a little, little hidey hole. You know, see what's going on. I'm trying to remember. Is the the gate to hell somewhere around here? I wonder if I can dig to it real quick. You know, in fairness, I probably shouldn't do that. I should... I should probably just go get the gold. See, I was thinking I could do that too, but then I was thinking, you know, don't take the chance. I mean, this this place is tough. Like, you thought the last couple places were tough. No, sir. This level is not kidding around. And the, the funny thing is, is I'm not even going to do the hell level last, even though it's technically the last level. And to be realistic, it is the most difficult. 
but I'm not going to do it last. I'm going to be bold. You know the old saying, be bold, go cold. It's cold turkey's motto. Oh, jeez, I'm about to die. My health slow. Food wasn't regening there for a second. Let's see what I got going on. How much gold do I have? Mm, probably not enough. I probably need more. Let's mine this one. Okay, we got that. Don't oh, get it. Okay, what am I at? Uh, seven. So I need two more. So two more blocks and I'll be good to go. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's kick it into high gear, people. We ain't got all night. Got to get this video in under 45 minutes. That's the goal. All right, make a little stairwell because I'm pretty sure I saw some gold over here. Okay, that's eight and some zombie flesh. And that's nine. All right, we got our nine. Maybe a few extra because I'm a douche like that. Oh, yeah, that's 11. No, oh, okay, I'm leaving. Catch you later. All right, take a dive into the pool. Get away from the mobs. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. We're good to go. We got the wool. We got the gold. Now I'm going to get on my boat, and I'm going to sell away from the help tree. Whew. So we're, you know, we're a little bit past two-thirds done, sun setting. And you can see those big, huge walls in the map that he puts around the area. Pretty cool for this particular map. But yeah, we're getting pretty close to done. That's why I was able, I think I'll be able to get this whole Sunburn Island thing done in three commentaries, just over 40 minutes each. Although I don't know if the third's going to be a full 40 minutes. And then once I'm done with Sunburn Islands, what are some plans for the future? Well, I'm going to be playing the Terra Beta maybe this weekend or next weekend. Well, actually this weekend because it's every other week right now still. So I'm going to be playing that with a friend and hopefully I'll have some real goofy, dumb footage of that. And then I was thinking... You know, Terra Beta. I, I was going to do Diablo 3, man. I was really looking forward to Diablo 3, but I'm not now. I mean, you got to be online to play. They took out the PvP. There's a lot of microtransactions, so you can pay to win. I don't know. The more I look at Diablo 3 and the more news I read about it, the more I'm probably not going to play it. So probably going to be some more Minecraft videos mixed in with the odd Terra footage here and there. And as always, still waiting for Guild Wars 2. Although a lot of people just, just hear recently discouraging news that, you know, Guild Wars 2 is going to have a store where you can buy, you know, items and basically real world money. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm not here to talk about Guild Wars 2, although I'm still really excited about it and not really too excited about Diablo 3. You see, I just made a gold block from my smelted gold. I'm going to put the gold ingots back into the chest. I'm going to take my gold block with my two blocks of wool or wait well six blocks of gray wool i guess would be a better way to say it let's see where there does it go there it went and then there we go look at that look at that let's let's get in a good photoshop right here let's get in a good photo position come on good photo position good photo spot let's do this let's look at this there's skeletons behind me i don't care look at that isn't that nice? We got one, two, three, four, five, six more left. Five of those are rule. One is a diamond block. You know, things are looking up. Sunburn Islands is on the way to be completed. Next commentary will be the last commentary. And after that, maybe do some Terra, some more Minecraft. Who knows? This is Cold Turkey. Thanks for watching.